Hey guys, and welcome back to the channel, and I'm here to give my thoughts on Manchester United 2, Everton 1. My teams that I root for, their bad run of form continues as the weekend progresses, and it's another one of those, isn't it? Um, slightly controversial, I'll get to that a little bit later, and uh, so starting, it was an unchanged lineup from last week. Uh, Jordan Pickford at goal, Luca Dean on the right, Seamus Coleman on the left. Uh, the two center halves were uh, Kurt Zuma and Michael Keane. Uh, Andre Gomez played, got his second straight start alongside Drissa Gay. Uh, Gilfie Sigurdsson is the attacking midfielder. And then we'd have the front three of Bernard, Richarlison, and Theo Walcott. When I saw that lineup, I was a little bit concerned because of how people on the right were playing. You know, as we know, Seamus Coleman hasn't had the best of seasons. He, he, was, he captained the side, but... And, and probably rightfully so, but he hasn't had the best season. I don't know what it is with Coleman, whether it's a mental thing or he's just playing poorly or he doesn't hasn't fully recovered from his injury yet, doesn't fully trust himself yet, but his, his play this season has been um, lower than the expected standard. Theo Walcott on the right side as well hasn't been playing well, and I wanted Ad Adamola Lookman to start, and I know... A lot of Everton fans kind of agree with me, uh, and they have that same opinion. They share the same opinion as I do on that matter, and um, that that needs addressing, that right side, because a lot of our good play comes from the left, and granted, Bernard didn't have that good of a game today again, um, because he, he gets crowded every time, and Bernard is not the quickest player, but he's, you know, very good on the ball, uh, very uh, agile, and... and um, can move around defenders, but he's being crowded on that left. But that right side does need addressing, but anyway. Coming into this game, and the bad run of form that Manchester United had, it had all the recipes of United finally doing something to play well. And it, <laughs> the same old Everton, just, just what I kind of feared. Um, Everton was able to hang around the first 15 minutes, you know, kind of controlled the game, uh, had a lot of the possession early on, uh, created a few good chances. I think I remember Gomez had a header that went right to the keeper, but still not uh, not threatening enough, not threatening De Gea enough. Um, and eventually, you know, eventually the controversy came. A penalty was called on um, as, as, as Marshall took on uh, Idrissa Gay on one of the United counterattacks on the left-hand side. Um, and it, it, it was not a penalty. I'm sorry. It, that was not a penalty. Idrissa Gay wins the ball and Marshall kind of just trips over the leg that, uh, that Idrissa Gay had extended after he won the ball and he just kind of fell on, fell on the ground. He went to ground and, and, uh, the referee, the official called the penalty, which, hmm, that was not a penalty. I'm sorry. Um, and, and this, this addresses even more so the need for, VAR in the Premier League. I don't know why there is not VAR in the Premier League. They have it in the Carabao Cup, but not in the Premier League. I mean, with all the money that the Premier League has, surely you can implement this and, and you know, get your collective heads together and, and find a way to implement it right. Therefore, if, you know, so stuff like this doesn't happen and the right call is made and in the case of ball, don't lie, Jordan Pickford, another penalty save, second week in a row. But unfortunately, it goes right back to Pogba. And speaking of Pogba, what, what is that run-up? Again, really, what is that run-up? It took him about 18 innings, it seems, before he kicked the ball. And when he did that stupid build-up, I, 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 I hoped he'd sky it over the bar. Just because that, that it just, what is that, really? <laughs> But unfortunately, you know, Pickford made, makes a save with his, I think it was his left hand, but it goes right back to Pogba, who just taps it in, and, he, you know, fair play to Pogba, he reacted well to it, but that, that should have never happened, it should have never happened, and it won't happen if the Premier League has VAR. So it goes into halftime, um, that happened right before the half hour mark, it goes into halftime, um, United leading 1-0, and in the second half, Anthony Marshall... I'll give him that goal. That, that What a curler from his right foot to the far post in, in the 49th minute. That that was a great goal. It reminded me of what uh, 
Gilfie Sigurdsson did against, I think it was against Fulham a few weeks ago where he did it with his left foot and curled it into the far post. Beautiful goal. And um, a lot of times when United goes up 2-0, this is when they start, okay, you know, start defending, protect the lead. And Everton started to charge forward, you know, put in a lot of crosses into the box. Another header by Gomez that um, was once again saved. Um, and eventually, in, in late in the game, uh, I think in the 77th minute, uh, Sigurdsson puts Richarlison through, gets fouled by, I think it's Ashley Young, if, if I remember correctly. And that, that was a penalty. That was a clear penalty. Sigurdsson converts it, and despite me being a little bit nervous because of his last penalty, he converts it, no problem. Cuts the lead down to 2-1, but eventually Everton still couldn't score. Um, <sighs> still, what a frustrating loss. Um, so my final thoughts on this are Lukaku is not the answer for United <laughs> as I clearly seen he is low on confidence and uh, when, when when Mourinho made that move before the game to drop Lukaku uh, put Rashford up top and put in Fred I think United looked a little bit more fluid and that's what I feared would happen today and it did and um, United was able to come up with a win, but it really should have been a 1-1 draw. That that was not a penalty. That goal should have never happened. But for Everton, the striker situation needs to be addressed. Richarlison played up top, but against some teams, he doesn't look like he's the answer. It's Don't think it's his natural position. Whether we get someone in January or if Tosin, you know, continues to score. He, he scored last week. Um... But they have to find a way to get him more service. The right side needs addressing, like I said earlier. Uh, Walcott hasn't had the best run of form. Uh, Lookman, when he came on, he did come on. Looked a little bit more lively. Everything looked more lively. I think Lookman should be starting on the right side. Uh, and Seamus Coleman, I, I, I love you, but uh, it's not exactly working out for you right now. Um, Kenny has played well, although he is a little bit... Uh, um, Mentally, uh, not there. Some decision makings aren't there. Like last against Leicester, he he went to ground for no reason. Just, <sighs> yeah. So there needs to be VAR in the Premier League again. I say it again. And uh, if Everton, if us as a club, Everton as a club, want to break into the top six, legitimately, we have to have we have to start picking up wins against these top teams. I mean, granted United hasn't been playing well, but you know, they're they have great players on their squad. They're not gonna, you know they're not gonna capitulate and fall down the table. They're eventually gonna find um quality in their play that will get them up the table. And if Everton wants to be that, we have to start picking up points. Whether I th I think we could have gone for a draw. It should have been a draw. But chances aren't being converted. It was like the Arsenal game. We had two uh, great chances in the first half um, against Arsenal that weren't converted, and eventually Arsenal does score. And it it, it was like that again today. We we, we stay in the game, um, and then once United gets that goal, we kind of mentally drop our heads, and it, it's that's been a mentality going on for so long with this club that I've seen, but it, it, that has to change, and hopefully it will going forward. Brighton at home next week. Uh, we should be picking up three points from that, but... Who knows? So the schedule gets tougher from here as we enter the holiday period. Not looking forward to uh, the festive fixtures because that is a lot of games. And But it's nice having that squad depth for once. Um, so hopefully we can make a better festive period this year than, uh, than what happened last year. Last year was absolutely dreadful. So my sports weekend continues. The LA Galaxy plays uh, Houston Dynamo in a little bit. If the Galaxy win again, we're in the playoffs. If not, then it's just another terrible sports weekend for me. <laughs> so, and the Dodgers try to stay alive as well. But that's it for me. That's my thoughts on Everton versus United. Frustrating loss, but what can we do? Get ready for next week. Anyway, um, if you agree or disagree with my comments, let me with my comments about this game. Let me know. Uh, like, share, and subscribe, and I'll see you guys again.